This is a great report, a happy report. We need happiness. We need something fresh, exciting, happy. We got it today with this report, Marvin. You got the two clips ready? All right. You got the one I want first, first, and the one I want second, second? You're doing good, Marvin. You're doing good. All right, let's give him the report. Good afternoon. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500 here in Vero Beach, Florida. Today's topic, well, folks, it's Denmark. The happiest people on earth. Are they really that happy? Well, we're going to explore that. You know, Denmark is a small country of about 6 million people. And they're known for their architectural, their designs, their inventors. And they're known for being the happiest people on earth. And I'm going to give you the 10 top reasons they're so happy. Now, number one, believe it or not, is candles. Now, you may think candles. Yes, folks, candles. Well, candles create a warm mood, and they give off warmth. And they're a natural beauty. They love their candles in Denmark. Number two, porcelain. Now, you may think porcelain comes from China. Well, the blue and white does come from China, but the Europeans, well, they have their own version, and they love porcelain in Denmark. Now, number three, this is one that kind of shocked me, Marvin, Lego. Lego. Did you know that Denmark is the birthplace of Lego? The birthplace. And they got their own Legoland there, and we've got a clip. We've got two great clips for you. The first one is the Legoland clip. You got it ready, Marvin? He's on top of it today. All right, Marvin. Roll the clip. Well, did you like that Legoland clip? Kind of cute, wasn't it? It was like there's a lot of fun things to do there, and they love their Lego. This is Denmark. Now let's get back to the top ten. We're on number four. Number four is castles. They've got a history of castles there. A lot of castles and castle tours, and they're big on castles. I'm going to give you names of three popular ones there. I won't pronounce them right, but they're um, the Rosenborg Castle. That's this guy right here. And they've got the ancient Fettisborg Castle. And the Kronkborg Castle. These are three popular castles. And like I say, they got plenty of castles, and they're big on the castles there. Now, number five is Trivial Gardens. You say, what's Trivial Gardens? You ever heard of Trivial Gardens? Well, it's the second oldest amusement park in the world. And it's in Denmark. And it's very popular and very, very famous there. People travel just to go there to the Trivial Gardens. Okay, I'll go with that. But now number six, this is the one that's a shocker. This one kind of threw me for a loop, and they're very happy with number six. Are you ready for number six? It's hot dogs. They love their hot dogs. They have a name for them where they sell them called Pokovigan. Poko, I can't say it right. Pokovigan. And it means sausage wagon. And it's little places that they have all over Denmark where they sell these hot dogs. And they've got a thousand different ways to make them. They're very creative with their hot dogs. In fact, we got a crazy hot dog clip that you're going to love. Are you ready for that clip? <laughs> I think it's kind of crazy. Okay, Marvin, you ready? Roll the hot dog clip. <laughs> Think about that hot dog clip. That's kind of crazy, huh? The way that was kind of stuck in there. And I don't know. You know, I'm old school. I like a LA Dodger dog. You know, like you go to the game, you get a big 12 inch, you know, Dodger dog in a nice warm bun with relish and mustard and pickles, and it's great. I, I get it. I get, would you eat that hot dog? Marvin would do it. I, I, I'd eat that hot dog probably. I, I'd try their hot dogs. They're known for hot dogs. They're creative. Go to Den let's go to Denmark and try a hot dog, folks. Why not? Anyway, it's pretty different. Let's get back to the list. Number seven. Beaches. They love their beaches in Denmark. Now their beaches are beautiful, and it's a small country, so wherever you live, you're within an hour of a beach. So it's kind of comforting to know that you can be at the beach an hour or less wherever you live in Denmark. 
Love their beaches in Denmark. And number eight. I like this one. Beautiful women. Woohoo! Beautiful and friendly women. Marvin, we got to book a trip. Strictly business, strictly research and business. Start thinking about booking a trip for Denmark. Yes, folks, the women are beautiful, happy, and friendly in Denmark. Number nine, fitness. They love their fitness in Denmark. Well, they're into CrossFit, they're into Zumba, they're into jogging, swimming. They're even into pole dancing. Marvin, we really got to book a trip. Make a note. Let's get on that. All right, folks. Number 10. This is the last one. This is the big one. Are you ready? Why are the people so happy and healthy and happy in Denmark? It's free health care. Medical is covered. Well, it's not completely free. You see, they pay more than taxes, which covers that health care. But I guess they have enough money left over to pay their bills and live comfortably. And I know that they're taken care of with the health care. So people are very comfortable with that. And they feel very good about knowing that they're covered with medical and health care. Those are the 10 top reasons people are so happy, friendly, and healthy in Denmark. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this report. I'm Steve S.H. Walters reporting for Breaking News 500. Have a great day.